Well, this morning we have some students from the Titusville Middle School joining us. Good morning. Good morning. You guys are awake and ready to go? Oh, definitely. All right. Well, let's start over here. Introduce yourselves. Uh, I'm Charlotte Winger. I play the role of Matilda. Excellent. I'm Jenna Crocker. I play Miss Trunchbull. I'm Tanya DeShong. I play Mr. Wormwood. I'm Hayden Nichols. I play Miss Honey. I'm Casey Krabs. I play Mrs. Wormwood. All right. Welcome this morning. Uh, hey, so far the projection is really good. So, director's excited. Yeah. You guys excited? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Who wants to start? Tell us about the show. How about Matilda? I'll okay. start with her. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. Um. Well, basically, genius five-year-old uh, defeats big bully over here oh, with wow. her mind powers. Very logical. Mm -hmm. No spoilers. Now, is this, this is based off the, the movie, or? Yes. Okay. Yeah, the movie kind the book. of. Kind of. What do you mean by kind of? Well, it has the same plot, but there definitely are a lot of differences throughout it as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, tell us about your character. Well, Matilda's five years old. She lives with her verbally abusive parents <laughs> and stupid Very brother. Young. Okay. And she gets sent to Trenchville School one day and makes a new friend, Miss Honey. This How about show, even though it sounds awful. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, this is so you'll, you'll, People very, will laugh, right? This, yeah. Okay, yeah. Good. It's very intense. It's very comical. Okay, good. Yeah. Tell us about your character. Um, okay, Miss Trenchville is the principal at Matilda's school. Um, she's real strict. Like, very much into following the rules because she was an Olympic class hammer thrower before the plot of the m musical starts. Um, just kind of a very aggressive character, and it's a general rule, but fun to play, so. Okay. okay. Uh, it, it, at least in the movie, it was a very funny character. Yeah, it's it's fun. Do, do you like playing the character like that? Sort of. I. Not entirely like the movie, but like a little bit. Yeah. Uh, have you all s watched the movie? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, yeah. Do you try to do your own thing? I think yeah, I, I think that we all try to mm -hmm, try to make it our own and kind of branch off and add our own little like twists to the character that make it more fun for us to play. Mm -hmm. Sure. So that we can be unique with it. Okay. Uh, in the back, how about uh, your character? Um. Well, first, he's a complete idiot, but he thinks he's a <laughs> genius, and. He's, he just like, he doesn't like her. He thinks she's a boy. He has an idiot son. Um, and he's a, he's a con artist, so. So let's repeat that this is really a funny show. Yeah. No, it's yeah. really, it really it's is. is. It's really yeah. good. Right. Most of the characters are dislikable, but like, it's a good yeah. show. But it's it, funny dislikable, yeah. right? Yeah. Yes. So my character, I'd like to say, is not dislikable at all. Yeah, right. She's very gentle, she's very kind-hearted, and she always wants to make sure that the kids that she's teaching are in the best environment and having a good time at school. Because when they're there and when they're not in my classroom, they're getting tortured by this one. So it's like, okay, well now this is a break for them, so you have to, like, you have to give them a good environment. So that's what she strives to do, is be kind and nice and just an overall good person. I, I know you're, you guys are in middle school, but uh, do you want to be a teacher? No. Oh, okay. I don't really well, like You kids. have that presence. <laughs> <laughs> How about your character? Um, Mrs. Wormwood is just weird. She's <laughs> odd. She wears crazy outfits and uh, does dance lessons with a weird guy. And... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She's, yeah. She's she's kind of odd. And she's Is this based off a real life teacher you had? What? Is this based <laughs> off of a, a real life teacher you had? Probably. Uh, no. no, okay. All right. So, um tell us why folks should come out and watch the show. The show, I feel like we all are excited to put on this show and I think that makes it come off with a lot of energy and I think we all have worked really hard and it's has a really has had a really good outcome so I think that it's worth coming to watch yeah and also like we've been saying it is a really funny show it's it's fun to watch mm -hmm. all right so when did you guys start rehearsing for this production the beginning of January, January. Yeah, right after mm -hmm. Christmas break wow so you probably thought at the time like oh the show's it's a ways away we got time to do all this yeah did it, it feel like that or did it come pretty quick it, it went, went really, really, really quick, quick. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. So uh, kind of break down. Uh, you guys are sitting here, but who else is involved in the production? Well, obviously my sister. sister. Yeah, she's the director. Yeah. Oh, okay. And um, then there's some kids who are younger in seventh and sixth grade mm -hmm. who play the little kids and the big kids. And then there is a couple other roles, like Rodolfo, who is the weird the man, weird the, dance the weird dance partner. Dance partner. Dance partner. <laughs> and then there's Sergi, who is the a Russian, Russian the mobster. The Russian mafia. Wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Who He's comes? Who comes for? Damn her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what about behind the scenes? I, I would imagine it takes a lot of people behind the scenes to yeah. put yeah. a production mm -hmm. on like this. There's people yeah. up in the spotlights, people back in the sound booth, a lot of people backstage, people a lot of people the backstage in the flies. Mm -hmm. so you you kind of hinted about some of the costumes, but tell us a little bit more about uh, that process. Well, costumes are kind of a process to get because mm -hmm. you have to make sure that one, they fit you, and two, they fit your character. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because you don't want your costume falling off of you while you're on stage. Yeah. Because yeah. that would be really bad. I've had that problem a little bit. <laughs> me the too. costume is really big on me as a general rule, so. So, uh, have you guys been in productions before? I have. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Actually, no, this is my first one. This is my first one on stage. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. So uh, I'm sure that's uh, pretty special for you. Yeah, it's it's pretty cool. Yeah, that's that's neat. So, um, what else with the with the the costumes? Is I, do you have to go through makeup and all of that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do, do you uh, enjoy that process? Do do, do you have any uh, insight into the makeup and the costumes? Do you get to say, hey, can I do this or can I do that? Or? Well, I know the four of us do our own makeup. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's been like really good for us to have a little bit of creative justice mm -hmm. with what mm -hmm. we want to put out there yeah. to the public yeah so uh, did you guys uh kind of get through the script before you decided how uh your character developed how you want to play your character yeah yeah yeah, so, yeah. we'll start over here with matilda what was your process well initially as soon as i got my script i just read through it a couple times so i was at least familiar with the plot line in the story and then i went back and I just went through, highlight all my lines, all my singing parts, tabbed any things, added in extra notes I wanted. Did, did you kind of stretch it a little bit to see how far you could go with the character? Yeah, a lot of And then of Mrs. Times, Rose say, no, 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 go back to, <laughs> go back to that. Sometimes, but not a lot. She kind of lets us experiment with mm -hmm. new things, which is definitely really cool. Excellent. Yeah, um... Mine was pretty much trying to find the right level of aggression to <laughs> convey the character, but not hurt anybody else, because I do get a little physical with some of the other characters. So uh, I've been trying to just make sure I don't actually hurt anybody. Which has not been successful 100% of the time, <laughs> let me just say. Yeah. Well, that's got to be extremely challenging for you, right? Because you have to come across yeah. a certain way, but yet you still have to be funny. and Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, I still have to do the comic relief parts, but it's like I need to be like this big, aggressive like human being, and it's just like, okay. How about you? Uh, well, my main character trait that I kind of focused on was only really when I'm with the dy my dynamic sort of and that's just rude and generally just like not a good person like he's he talks like really explosively I think so you're like, kind of in the same boat right where you have to come across that way but yet the audience has to like you and laugh at you right yeah yeah, I guess, but they, they shouldn't like me because nah. my <laughs> actions are bad, but I try to, like, make it maybe a little funny. Yeah. So. Well, I needed to decide if I was going to go super just terrified, like, small, like, make sure that I was scared of her, Jenna, at all times, mm -hmm. or I was going to have to be a little bit more... Um, like, I would have to speak out a little bit more. So I decided that I was going to, um, well, once I read through the script a couple of times, I decided that I was going to start off super, like, weak and terrified and then build courage to talk to Miss Trunchbull. And I think that that worked really well because, like, my, like, my character developed a lot throughout the show. Um, I always, like, I have to make sure that I sound, like, like not smart at all and I always have to like make sure that I sound like I have no idea like I'm not making sense or anything and I also have that's, to make that's sure. what I do on this show yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> and I always have to make sure that I'm like, just like speaking nonsense and just like sounding weird. <laughs> uh, who who has the the funniest lines? Um, it kind of it de- depends. depends. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. yeah. Probably um, Mr. and Mrs. Wormwood yeah. from the people here. I have some good ones, but I think theirs are probably as a general rule. Yeah. yeah. Well, we're gonna ask you to deliver your favorite line from your character in a second, oh. but first, when's the show? Um, uh. March, March 31st, 31st April, April 1st, 1st, and April 2nd. So this upcoming Thursday, Friday, and yeah, Saturday. Okay, what time? You, like, it starts at it, um, 7, the but the doors at open 7. at 6.30. And okay. tickets go on sale at 6. All right, excellent. Let's do this real quick, okay? Uh, you're watching The Morning Drill on stream television and on Armstrong's Neighborhood Channel and listening to it on the Allegheny News Talk Sports Network. We're here with the Titusville Middle School. They have Matilda coming up this weekend. So we'll start with Matilda. What's your favorite line from the show? My favorite line is when I say to my mom when she tells me that she saw a program about Russians being nocturnal, I say, that was a program about badgers. <laughs> Excellent. How about you, favorite line? Um, mine would probably be... Um, and you have to do it in the voice you're going to yes, use. Yes, I know. Okay. Uh, so... I'm like making the children do this like scary spelling test because I'm like threatening them. <laughs> but I have to tell one of the kids to st- stand up and spell Amchelicomaneal septricolis timosis. Very much not an actual word. It's just fun to say. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, I don't know. I, I have a lot of lines that I like. Um, I guess there's a scene I come in and I talk to my family. I'm like, Everyone gather around, and then Charlotte comes up, and I say, no, not you. And then she just sits right back there. And it's do you like, want to do the lines together? Um, I guess. Sure. Okay. Everyone, gather around. I want my family to share in my triumph. Not you, boy. I'm a girl. See. Excellent. Um, my, the first one can... my favorite line is in the song Bruce, well after the song Bruce, um, when the character Bruce is eating this massive cake that Miss Trunchbull is forcing him to eat, I get very proud of him and I jump up and I run and I, I scream, I'm like, come on Brucey, yes, yes! And then so that he has a little bit of encouragement when he's doing this really difficult <laughs> task of eating chocolate cake. Well, that should encourage people when you're shouting at them like that. Yeah. I'm encouraged <laughs> and scared, too. No. Uh, how about you? Um, my favorite line is when Miss Honey comes to the Wormwood's house, and I basically yell at her to leave, and I say, I'm not in favor of girls getting out clever pants, Miss Hussy. Looks are more important than books. Now look at you. Look at me. You chose books. I chose looks. Good day. And then I push her out of the way. And le- she make does her leave. push me out does of the way. Does she? Do you, do, you, do you have a line that precedes that? or I sing an entire song. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, let's talk about the music. How, how, what's the music like? Is, is it good? I think the music is awesome. It's really cool. It's do they have like, like the best hard. solos? <laughs> oh, really? Actually, so you're they, putting everyone, them on the spot now. Oh, no. No, that's not what I meant. <laughs> but like, it is really good. I don't know. Yeah, it's very unique. It's is like it? more intense than a lot of musical music that you'll hear, like, Especially the like junior musicals, but this yeah. music feels a lot more um, like in depth, and there's a lot of detail in mm-hmm. the soundtrack. Like some of the big group songs are a little bit more like almost hip hop esque than a lot oh, wow. of the okay. yeah. uh, so, uh, traditional. So, Miss Cicero's directing. She also doing the music too. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They're all looking at you like. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. And choreography. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so how uh, how many Actors and actresses, would you say, are in the uh, in the show? Uh, like close to thirty, 30 probably wow. thirty. Yeah, that's great. Uh, and you guys have been at the the high school rehearsing since mm-hmm. the beginning since of March. Beginning of March. Uh, okay, well, what's that like going from uh, the rehearsals to actually getting on stage? Is it is it almost like relearning your role again? Yeah, because yeah. yeah. you have yeah. to. Yes. Make, yeah, because you have to like figure out like where entrances mm-hmm. and exits are and like just exactly like how you're going to be on and off stage. But at the same time, it's almost like a sigh of relief after you get out of like 
the TMS middle school yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. in the gym and in the commons and the cafeteria. Like yeah. it's just it's just nice to be on a pl- in a place where it's what, where you're meant mm-hmm. to do what you're working to do. So yeah, yeah it's, it's it's kind of weird, isn't it? Because you're as you said, you're in the middle school and you think, okay, now I can get my character down. I know what I'm supposed to do. And then they're mm-hmm. like, okay, time to go on the stage. And then yeah. you're like, ah. Uh, yeah. I have to relearn this thing. Yeah. Yeah, I think we've re choreographed Bruce at least maybe five times yeah, before it's we changed have the final. <laughs> a lot of times. Uh, so uh, you were talking about the, the, the music. Um, because you liked it, was it sort of easier to learn and memorize? Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Especially because um, I feel like with solos that um, me, Matilda, and Trunchbull sing mm-hmm. fit our personalities <laughs> yeah. as well. Like, very. On and like vocal point. types too. Like. Yeah, it, it just all worked out perfectly. Mm-hmm. So, uh, could you see yourselves? Uh, do you put a little bit of you into the role? Yeah. 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 Uh, you you said something that was interesting. Um, liking the characters you're playing, um, how many of you had to s- kind of stretch yourself and say, "Well, I'm not like this person at all." Anybody? <laughs> anybody else? Nope. No. I feel like I'm exactly oh my. how my character um, is. Really? I mean, my character is a thrower. I actually throw in track. Like, I'm like my character to an extent. Wow. Mm-hmm. Okay. Like, well, that's pretty I'm exciting. Like being weird, so. I'm you not like being weird. Though. Yeah. I'm dumb in real life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a very reserved person, so that was really hard to, like, not be So you had to pull it back a little bit. Loud. And... Yeah. <laughs> but, but isn't that the fun part about acting is... That mm-hmm. sort of challenging yourself in yeah. that way, like playing somebody mm-hmm. who's not you. Yeah, mm-hmm. definitely. What's been your favorite? We'll, we'll start over here with Matilda. Uh, what's your uh, favorite moment from start to, to where you are now? Honestly, I think my favorite moment is in the song I sing "Quiet" because it's a full blackout except for a spotlight that is on me, and it basically blinds me, and I see spots afterwards. But it's really cool just being in that position on stage with just the spotlight on you. Mm-hmm. It just has this really weird feeling. So um, the audience, having them there won't be bothersome to you? You can yeah, cause it sing almost, and perform right through that? Yeah, it looks like just a black curtain. You can't even see anything past the front of the mm-hmm. stage. So Okay. And, and by the way, the question is performance-wise or just behind the scenes so what's been your favorite moment uh, mine is also a performance one it's really it's fun because during one of my songs smell of rebellion we get to do the first junior musical kick line that tms has seen it's just me and <laughs> oh Aiden. wow really yeah it's yeah. just it's just me and jenna it's because because nobody else don't need to coordinate yeah. Enough. Yeah. <laughs> the fun part is she's like she's uh-huh. like flopping over because she doesn't really want to do it and then i'm like Trying, I've been trying to see how high I can kick just, just for fun. It's been great. She, I will look at her, and her legs are flying <laughs> up past her head. I'm like, holy, holy she'll be, cow. She'll be doing javelin or uh, something else, hurdles or something next <laughs> yeah. time. Right? Yeah. Um, my favorite part was probably I get to wear like a green wig for like half the show. <laughs> really? Yeah. And it's great. I don't know. I don't have like a better explanation. You just it's have just, to come to the show and see it. To like have green hair and not have like my weird long hair the entire <laughs> time. <laughs> um, I think I have to agree with Charlotte. Like being on stage singing a solo, like it's your time to shine with the spotlight on you. Like there's just, um, like very, it's very like meaningful. It's very like nice to have that moment to yourself to like, I don't know, almost prove what you're here to do. Like show off what you have worked for. That's really nice. Yeah. My favorite part is probably like just getting like costumes and like makeup. So like it's like you can finally like see what the character like looks like and it like really like helps make the character really show who like they actually like are. It's so it's fun. That's uh, something else we didn't talk about, right? Uh, not in addition to actually going on stage for the first time, but when you have the makeup. And the costumes, and you actually see your character. That's that's a pretty cool feeling, isn't it? Yeah. Well, one more time. When's the show? It is uh, March, March 31st, 31st, April 1st, and April 2nd. 2nd. The show starts, starts at 7 p.m. Thank you so much. Break a leg. Thank you. Go see Matilda this weekend.